This game is rated E10 for ages 10 and up. For more information, please go to ESRB.org. Well, hello there! May I interest you in some lovely... Uh... I forgot what I was selling. Hello everyone! Kirby Volt here, but you can call me KV, and welcome back to the Tears of the Kingdom Logs. Um, past me is remembering what we did to get over here right now, I think. Maybe? Because I don't remember what we did, if I'm being 100% honest. I know we're focusing on every little side quest we can do at this point. I don't know how that relates to getting to Hateno Village, but we're here right now. So, yay for that. Probably. Am I watching the right log? I gotta I always double check that because I am. I am. I'm pretty dang sure. Otherwise, well, I mean, I, we can always have a log 106, so I just. <laughs> I just record and it's just like, oh, okay, this is for later. But it's fine. I don't know what all the gem marks on the map are now that I made, the, the pins. Oh yeah, hey lassie! She's an avid fashion collector too. Yeah, I, oh yeah, so when you talk to Say Say and you give her stuff. And that's how you get the hood down. You know one thing that makes me sad about Echoes of Wisdom? You get that cool hood and cloak for Zelda. You can never take the hood down. Never. She takes it down in some cutscenes! But you can never take the hood down yourself. Oh! We're trying to help them grow, like, weird pumpkins or something. And this kid is, uh, patrolling. That's me, suspicious. <laughs> Okay, that's adorable and also hilarious. I'm not suspicious. Your come to Hitano Village, our vegetables are best around our at the forefronts of fashion. He still look a oh, I'm sorry. We should go get your dad back. I'm Tebow. Your name's Tebow? <laughs> no suspicious folks, unless I unless I literally say hello. My name is suspicious. Yeah, what's the secret? Ooh. Oh, well, that was rude. Didn't you see the head gatekeeper, Tebow? He was on the job. But there's just probably too many of them. Tebow, Tebow was outnumbered. So that's right. That's what we gotta go do. We gotta go and help out Tebow. The greatest front guard of any village in the entire Zelda franchise. Yeah, I'm... Yeah, let's, let's just go. Let's just go. This is for you, Tebow. I don't think I knew Tebow existed until this log. <laughs> Gotta hold out until the sun rises. Okay. Oh! It's a bunch of these jerks. Nope. You stop that. No, don't, don't throw your friend's head! How would you like it if your head was thrown? Don't answer that. Alright, hi. Right. Nope. Nope. Still no. Oh, what? How'd you guys get over there? Get out of here. No. Um, I'm not ruining the crops. It's fine. I'm not ruining them. I'm definitely not chopping them down prematurely. Just all the days 
Knights work. The master says running low on energy. Well, it shouldn't. This is important work. This is for Tebow. It's past Tebow's bedtime. He can't guard the gate this late. So we gotta help out. Um, yeah, you know what? Th this... That works. Honestly, I probably should have done this in the first place. You shoot that bow again. And I... Okay. Okay, it's gone. It's gone. Alright, where's the rest of the... Did we do it? Oh. That was easy. But it was worth it. We did it. For Tebow. How fast do those pumpkins grow? You don't need to, to like, do it. Like. Oh. I remember what we did last time on the last log, and I know why we're here now. Because we were missing a photo in the compendium. That was the material. And you know what it is? It's literally this. The Sun Pumpkin. Because you have to do this side quest to get it. And so I obviously looked it up between logs, and now I have it. Can I, can I just take some? Oh. Okay, fine. Jeez. You're welcome. You should also thank Tebow. Tebow was the best guard during the day, I'll have you know. <laughs> also, you might be wanting to con concern yourself as to why some bacoblins and uh, moblins were buried, like, literally right in front of your town. That doesn't seem good. Or did they, like, dig underground and, like, pop out as the skellies? I don't want to think about that right now. I'm probably still going to think about it, but I don't want to. Okay, so I'm going back up here to tell Robbie, okay, I have all the pictures I can possibly get right now outside of the ones that I either missed or can't get because of reasons. So therefore, you should reward me I guess. I actually don't know why we're going to Robbie's place. Now that I just said that out loud. Well, turns out we're not going to Robbie's place. We're going here for cheese. No, I just took a wrong turn. Are you going to cook those cuckoos? Is it... Is it... It's cuckoo, right? Or is it... Kaku. I don't like how one of them sounds. I'm gonna keep calling them Kukos. Even if that's wrong. It's fine. I still call them Rayquaza. Because Rayquaza sounds better than Wik Rayquaza. I can't even, can't even get myself to say it. Is that... That tree was awfully close to the path. Is that a real tree, or is that, like, a, a tree that wants to kill me? Maybe it doesn't. Maybe maybe it's fine. Maybe maybe Robbie tamed them. I could believe it. Alright, I have... Yep, yeah, okay. Um... Travel medallions, I guess? Okay, I know about that. Never mind. All right, well, I have all of them. Well, that's great. Want to explain to me how you got some pictures of those monsters, Robbie? Because, like, some of them didn't exist. 
during the calamity, and you still got pictures of them. It's it's fine, I guess. We'll we'll just ignore that little detail for the rest of time. Where did Tulin? Yeah, wait a minute. Tulin, what direction was Tulin facing when I did that? Because I heard it go off, but I did not see anything. Alright, well, back to Lincoln Zelda's house. Gotta check on the Minish that live in there. Obviously. I'm sure they're fine. But you know. Nice to be a polite uh, roommate to all of them, make sure they're still doing okay. I, I know they understand, because I'm out on an adventure. You need to reach your friends! No, you don't. We even have a little stable for horses if we want them to them. So, uh, yeah, we're just, uh, home in here. Yeah, still, that, that bed is too small for two people. So it has to be as I've always been saying it is. There's no other explanation. And we're gonna go back down the well, I guess, because... Oh, no, we're not going to. Okay. No, we gotta get tomatoes first, then we're going back down the well. Are there any new journal entries that I somehow didn't see the last time I was here? It's looking at like, oh. What? Is that, a, that That's a candle. I think that's a candle. That, um... Those are books. Cup. Uh, bright bloom seed. Um, notes. I wish I could actually read all of this. That would be kind of fun, but that would be way too much system process for things that only like someone like me would. So, I mean, you have this, so... Good enough. Yeah, I, well... Zelda, I've done how many shrines now? A hundred and... Wait, no. 302 shrines. Wait, no. 282 shrines. That... That's right. That, that, that's right. Right? No. 272 shrines. I can math. I can also get impaled by that. It's fine. Alright, so I put a pin here because this is where a well is located? Have we not been to this well before? Ow! That wasn't nice. You guys were always just like, look at me, I have this big scary weapon. And it's like, okay, and then you just go, never mind, I'm just gonna kick you. And it's like, that's rude, man. That's rude. Just because I'm short, that's rude. Um. Sir. What are you doing down here, sir? No, 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 you know about? No. What are you counting? Can I count with you? Oh. But what if we wanted to be our favorite Sesame Street and favorite vampire character, the Counts? Oh. Oh. Okay. Bye. N nice talk. You sure as let me count with you, man. 
could have been fun. We could have counted to like 144. And then we could talk about like, oh man, 144. That's 12 times 12. That's crazy. But no, you wanted to be like, uh, I'm a ego and I'm going to, um, ego. Whatever that means. Okay, so we still have more. Are, are these all? I'm, I'm guessing these are all wells I looked up. I'm not sure I was being so indecisive as to where to go. We have the pins. We're in sub sub. At Sue sub. I'm gonna call it sub sub. Some sub shrine. A uh, problem with this location. How we get out? Oh, okay. Just walk a few feet forward. Got it. So there's a well I'm missing here, apparently. Which is crazy, because I've been to this area multiple times already, and okay, well, I mean, I missed a Korok, but it's pretty obvious in hindsight, so... Yeah, I was a little late there. Yeah, we've been in that well, because it's marked on the map. This isn't a Talus, is it? Nope. Okay. Just checking. There's a well around here? Apparently? Doko. I think I couldn't, like, pin specifically where it was, so I, like, kind of gave a generic, like, it's here somewhere, and I still need to figure it out from there. I definitely saw, like, a picture of where it was located, but I looked at a lot of these. Oh, I have, like, not explored this particular part of the area at all. Never mind. I don't think it's over here, though. This seems a little too far. Unless it's in that dilapidated house over there. What? Did something surface? You know, we got we got a mushroom. Uh isn't there a cork on this log? Didn't we No, no. Or am I thinking of Breath of the Wilds? Yeah, now, where, where am I trying to go exactly from here? Let's just keep going up through the log. The hollowed out and slowly decaying giant log. What do you think this was originally? Because, like, there's no other trees that are this big outside of... The Deku tree itself. Well, there is a Korok in here, but just not the Korok puzzle I was thinking it was. Oh, Passy, this is going to end terribly. Yeah, this was not a bright idea to do the sealed chair thing. It worked, but I don't think that was good on the shield. Couldn't use that because that would. You would think that, like, it has, like, a solid skate in it with the sword that it would kind of go a bit more. But no, it just, just trips you up. Oh, 
Oh. Well, there it is. There's the well we haven't been in yet. And that's why. <laughs> Can we even blow this up? Is this going to be smart to blow up? Why did I... Oh, okay, I thought I dropped it. You know what? Good idea, good idea. Run. Yeah, that radius is pretty big. Okay, yeah, now we, I guess we just, we haven't been down this well. I mean, it leads to basically the same place. But we haven't been down it yet, so now it's marked on the map. Luminous stone, though. The poor man Zonite. Oh, and there's a treasure chest on top of here, because of course there is. And I had no use for it. As usual. Alrighty then. So that was definitely the... Oh, there's another treasure chest up there, and I want to grab it, but how... how do? Hmm. That's a smart idea, but I don't think it's going to work. Oh, never mind, never mind. It does work, in fact. Hooray! All right, what's in uh, this treasure chest that I'm going to somehow not get? A royal shield. Well, we definitely don't need that, but although it is... No. Yes? Okay, it's better than that one, the, the 55 one. I guess we really don't need that flame meter shield, but eh. The novelty of it's nice. Alright, so that was that was the well there. Um, okay, yeah, there's a well over in the crossroads between the Terrytown area and the Gora, uh, Death Mountain. You know, why do they ever call it Death Mountain? Like, I know Death Mountain technically, if I, you know what? Double check, gonna look up. First thing I'm gonna re-bleat this really cute uh, Sabrina from Pokemon art, because Sabrina's the best gym leader from the Kanto region, don't at me. I mean, I guess you can if you want, but I'll disagree, and that's okay. Right, death Mountain, Death Mountain. Oh! It's back as far as the original Legend of Zola. Okay. So I was like, wow, it sure is rude that they made a place in Ocarina of Time called Death Mountain where all that is just Gorons live there, and they're just perfectly peaceful and they're not mean at all. But no, it's because the original three Zelda games all had Death Mountain, and those are usually the, like, hardest places in the game to go through. So, I understand why it has the name. In those instances, it's kind of weird that they still kept the name going after that, because, yeah, the... The Gorons are friends. Like, of all of the races that we've seen throughout the history of Zelda, the Gorons have never been, like, the enemy. They've always been friends. So it's very weird, but maybe that's the, that's the joke, that they live on a place called Death Mountain when they're, like, the friendliest and, like, most full of life dudes you could ever meet. Anyways, I'm, I'm doing this Korok puzzle because I saw it, and now I'm like, hey man, I know what to do for these. 
Go in. Oh, yay. <laughs> yeah, ha ha. Then that, ah, uh, okay, I was a little, little slow. Like, just a tiny bit slow to the last part, but got the first part down. Yay! Um, that looks dangerous. Like, the fiery kind of dangerous, so better be prepared to go in with our uh, firefighter suit to go fight the fire that's definitely in there. And maybe we should have uh, taken off the weapon that could also light on fire. Anyways. Bye, like, like. Uh, do you have anything good in here? No. Morphless. Did okay. I thought, I thought the treasure chest just like blew up. All right. Well, we have hydrants, and uh, Minoru, would you like to help us with hydrants? This seems like is this gonna work. Yes, actually, very well. Cool. Can you put the treasure chest on your on your uh, fist too, Miner? Uh, wait. Jumping off right there was uh, a choice I sure made. Ruby! Okay, well, not the most impressive treasure, but still a decent treasure nonetheless. Yeah, just Master Sword. Link, I spent thousands of years getting this prepared back for you. I'm gonna hit rocks with it. Well, I guess it is very sturdy. So, I guess that's fine. Are those also... wells? I think I marked all the wells and I marked, like, the pins of where the wells I wanted to check first. Oh, uh, this one's going to be a butt to find, so I can understand why we're going here right now. Might want to change the outfit. Yeah, it's good enough. Oh. Hey, Nydra, how's it going? Wait, no, Feroche. I know my colors. I know my primary colors of red, blue, and green. Google frog nearby. Ooh. And yes, I know the primary colors are red, blue, and yellow. It's a joke because of the colors that are emitted through the old TVs that were red, blue, and green. Actually, you know, that's a question. Wait. How color TVs do yellow back in the day? If they're emitting from red, green, and blue, what combination do you do? I guess you just... I mean... That's how my... My drawing program that I use for photo manipulation works, right? Not like malicious photo manipulation, like, like screenshots and stuff. Like if I if I go, yeah, yeah, because it, it's RGB. If I look at the yellow color, it's just uh, no blue, all red, and a good chunk of green. And if I move the green down, it becomes more of an orange or red. And if I move the red down, well, obviously it becomes more green. Okay, I'm glad. I looked this up by opening a program that I didn't really need to open when I was recording this. Uh, what? 
Hello. Bye. Booble frog? No, this is outside. I don't want outside, I want booble frog. I think I had trouble finding this Google Frog last time we were here when we were doing all that stuff for the Yiga Swordsmaster. Unless it was like right over here and I just missed it like a moron? Which could happen. It's fine. Everyone goes at their own pace. Has their own strengths and weaknesses. Mine was just not being observant at that point in time. For some reason. Yeah, I don't know about the Forest Rolls bow, because if we go back to, like, Death Mountain, it's, it's gonna burn. And it's not gonna be good. But, I mean... We'll worry about that later. Oh, I think that was actually... Okay. I've made stamps for either there is Well here, or there is Booble Frog here. And I don't know which one. But I'm gonna guess all the ones that are stamped and have pins next to them are the wells, and all the ones that don't have pins currently are booble frogs. Probably. Hey man, this is like July of 2023 when I was recording this. I do not remember my. Me like, I can infer what it was, I can't remember exactly what it was. Also, oh, no, we were already wearing... Um... <laughs> okay, I'm glad we can climb that. Oh, there's a problem here. <laughs> I mean, there are solutions that we could seek out that aren't just try to... That works, I guess, okay. You could have warped back to it and just not taken that way off. You could have actually burned the brambles. There is a multitude of things you could have done there, but we're going to take the, the silliest route possible. Which, honestly, is great, because it's silly. But it's definitely not the most effective. Uh, don't, don't jump in fire, please. There's a well over here? No way. Really? This is like... Nowhere. I mean, I know there's a cottage here, but like, it's a lodge. My apologies, it's a lodge. Like, I don't see anything. Is it under that big rock? We're not gonna even bother with the big rock. Okay, well, there was nothing under it. At least we checked that. Yeah, I don't think there's wells in this area. Are there? Hmm. Well, that's just a cobbler camp back there, so that's not going to be of any help. Really? There's a well in this? I mean, I wouldn't have found it, because that's definitely not where we've expected to look for one, if there is. But I'm kind of doubtful that there is, if I'm being honest, but... <laughs> you never know 100% for sure. There's nice music that plays here. Like, just kind of look the path, you know, like, where I have and haven't been so far in this particular area to kind of double check. Hmm. Okay, well, there's another guy camping out there. Maybe there's a well over there? Got some wild berries over here.
What about that rock? Is that the same rock? Pinecone. Okay, well, I haven't, I haven't checked this southern area b below the road at all on the ground level. So it might be worth inspecting. Or we'll just go down the road. I mean, wells are usually pretty close to the road, so I guess that makes sense. There's a Korok camp right there. That's a Korok, right? Or is that something else? No, that- oh, that's- it's, it's Pekongo! Okay, hey, hey buddy. I thought you were a Korok, I'm sorry. Wait, is that it? Is that it right there? Hot dang! Dronox Pass Well, yeah, we haven't been to this one before. Um. Oh, it's warmer in the well until you get out of the water, and then it gets cold again. That's confusing. Okay, that's just the chef doing all their cool chef things. Alright, well, we got that well. Yeah, did not, like... Did not expect it to be... Here, of all places, because, like, this is a... This is a cold place. Oh well. Good to know, good to find. And now we can go off to our next destination. Is that a sock? Oh no, that's an arrow. That's an arrow. <laughs> Do I need to get my eyes checked? Uh, maybe. I did wear glasses as a kid, and I have a bad astigmatism in my right eye. So I should probably go to an eye doctor sooner than later, just to kind of double check all that. I don't wear glasses currently, because when I was in high school, I was basically told, yeah, like, your right eye, yeah, it has the astigmatism, but at the very least, it can still detect depth, so you can still do depth perception pretty well. But your left eye is, like, perfect, so there's no need to wear glasses anymore. And I was like, oh, okay. Not to mention, at least back then, a lot of the frames they had, like, my skin was allergic to them. So, I make this... I've probably said this before, so I apologize if this is old information, but... Yeah, like, it, I, my skin was allergic, so, like, I get this, like, green gunk where my gla- where the frames would sit on- oh, Korok. Yahaha! Bam bam! Perfect. Yeah, I get this weird, like, green gunk where the frames of the glasses would touch the side of my heads before they would uh, rest on the back of my ears. So, uh, yeah, that, hopefully they made frames that are better that don't do that anymore. <laughs> I think it was, like, a, some kind of copper. Like, I, eventually we switched to different frames, and those worked for the most part for a while, but I think I started getting the same reaction to them as well. Don't know why. Go, Bambi's mom! We're on an adventure! Okay, we won't go into the tree. That 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 doesn't help. We also need to take like a sharp left because we are not I don't think you're gonna like this jump. Okay, never mind. It was good while it lasted. Please watch out for hunters. Where the heck is this? Well we've been to this place before at least once. <laughs> I just love that you can just sometimes just run on the wall for a little bit before it goes, oh yeah, right, climbing. Shh <laughs> shh Oh hey! Sakura tree. You can see the famous uh uh Satori. There we go. 
Oh, it's like Iwata. It's called Iwata. Like, no, no, it's not called Iwata. <laughs> it's still, to the best of my knowledge, named after him, but it's from his first name, Satoru, not, not from his surname, Iwata. So, hey, Mr. Satori, how's it going? Gosh. Next year it's going to be ten years since Iwata passed away. He was only 55, man. Like, man, that just sucks. I know he's giving it all, so it, it's, it's one of those things of, like... What was going on? Like, was it... He wasn't checking his health properly? Was it the unfortunate kind of grind culture that is Japanese society that kind of makes you want to keep work that basically says you need to keep working no matter what? Was it the Wii U doing terribly? Like, I, I don't know. It feels like, because he got it checked out once and it was, it was like, oh yeah. Removed it and then it came back. But then again, cancer is a mysterious jerk and can sometimes just come out of nowhere, and that's just unfortunate. Yeah, I, I think that's the cave. What, what about that? No, no, I think we... Whoa, what was that? It's it's the big platform from Rito Village. <laughs> shh, 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 shh. Oh, there's one all the way over there? Hmm. Well, thank you, Satori. Oh, oh, another cave over there. Don't think I have a cave that's in that area, probably, unless it's doing the Giza Crater cave, but we don't know that for sure, so we'll find out. That's what these pins are for now, but now that we're finding caves, we can get all the Google frogs, obviously. Okay, I don't think it was for that. Anyways, we have this green pin that's here first, so let's take care of that. Before anything else... Oh. Korok. That's the fun thing about exploring, when you're just kind of like trying to find like just random stuff when not focusing as much on the plot, is that you'll just come across stuff like, Oh, hey, yeah, this. Oh, hey, yeah, this. Uh, I saw the rock pass me, but you're going to have to... Do a long search for it, apparently. Alright. Well, I'll be here when you're ready. Choo Choo will be here when you're ready. The log is almost over, so you better get ready soon. It's right there. Pa pass me? Pass me? Okay, you saw it. Good. And salt. Bah ha ha! Boo -doo. I said bah ha ha instead. Because I'm a rebel like that. Meh meh meh. Oh, I made, a, I made a little Pac-Man drawing on the map of my pathing there. Okay. That's kind of neat. <laughs> shush, shush, shush. Yeah, so I think we're probably just going to walk to where we need to go to next, and then we're going to be done with the log. So I don't think there's much else we can do right now, except get a... well... Oh, hello. I don't need... I, you know I'll go kill that guy, please. I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to, that's fine. But, like... If they if they bother us too much, you should probably, probably smack them. Okay, yeah, so that's the Tony was also showing the two crater caves. And a third one... That third one I don't know about as much. Yeah. Crater cave, crater cave. The heck is that? 
Okay, somewhere over there. No, oh, it's probably that. Probably that. Okay. Alright then, well, we have our next destination. We're going to go look for some caves next time. But for now, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. Don't have to, you don't want to, but it's always appreciated. The white dragon's right there. Yay! Hi, Zelda! If you'd likely see as far as the game goes, Tears of the Table Nintendo Switch will be playable on Nintendo Switch's successor, along with all the other great Zelda games on Nintendo Switch, and more that will probably be coming to the Switch's successor as well. Most importantly, though, I wish you all to have a wonderfully great day, and I will see you all on the next one. Until then... Wait, why are we... Geronimo!